Hello, welcome back. In this video, I am introducing the anatomy of a CC license. So far in a previous video, I have explained the five icons of CC licenses. Let's review a little bit. You already know that the CC attribution license is the simplest CC license that includes CC logo, and attribution logo. For each type of other licenses, you add a third or fourth icon from the remaining three icons here. They are share alike icon, no derivatives icon, and non commercial icon. As, as a result, we have six types of CC licenses. I visual them on three levels one, two, Three. The first level license only has one icon in its license. It is CC attribution license. The second level usually has three icons in each license. They are attribution share alike license, attribution non derivatives license, and attribution non commercial license. On the third level, each license has four icons. They are attribution non-commercial share alike license and attribution attribution non-commercial no derivatives license. CC licenses have long names, but sometimes you also see these short names for them. BY is attribution. ND is a short for non-derivatives. SA is a short for share alike. NC is a short for non commercial. You will see them quite often, so spend some time to understand them and remember them. But do you know that there are another three levels in the design of every single CC license? Each of these six CC licenses has been designed with three layers. One, two, three. The first layer is called the legal code layer, which contains law lawyer readable terms and conditions. The second layer is the common deeds layer, which summarizes the first layer and presents it in the common people readable format. It is also the most well-known layer of the license. The third layer is the metadata layer, or the machine readable layer, which allows the machines to recognize creations when they are released under these licenses. The six CC licenses that I introduced before are regulating people behaviors under the global copyright laws. The CC0 license and the public domain mark are two tools that are attached to copyright-free creations. The CC0 allows creators to dedicate their works to the worldwide public domain. The public domain mark is a label used to mark works that are known to be free of all copyright restrictions. Be aware that, like the six CC licenses, CC0 license that you see here, is also a copyright tool, but it also covers a few additional rights beyond those covered by the CC licenses, such as non-competition laws. When we say non-commercial, it is more referring to the use instead of the users. It is possible for a charity organization to violate the copyright law by selling creations under non-commercial license. It is also possible for a company to use the creations under non-commercial license for non-commercial activities and it is completely fine. As for non-derivatives license, we must know what are derivatives and what are not. For instance, syncing a piece of music to a moving picture is derivative. Digitalize a work from its hard copy is not a derivative. P 
putting together a collection of articles by different authors to publish an open ebook is not a derivative. Now I will briefly explain how exceptions and limitations to copyright can affect CC licensed works. People have a lot of activities of using others' creations. CC licenses only regulate those behaviors such as attributing authors, sharing, making money out of creations, and work adaptions. There are some other activities that CC licenses cannot regulate. Here are just some examples out of many. First, CC licenses do not regulate reading and watching activities. Second, CC licenses do not reduce, limit, or restrict any rights under exceptions and limitations to copyright, such as fair use, fair dealing, provisions for disabled people. Third, CC licenses should not be applied to works in the worldwide public domain. Fourth, CC licenses also cover other rights closely related to copyright, also defined as similar rights in the legal code layer of the CC license design. Fifth, CC licenses do not have any effect on rights beyond copyright and semi rights as defined in the licenses. So other rights have to be managed separate, separately, such as patents, trademarks, privacy, and publicity rights. That is the end of this video. I hope through it you have known better about the CC licenses. Thank you for watching.